Hello guys, Judy Ann here from JustIn8.com and today we're going to be making Caesar dressing. Caesar dressing at home from scratch. Alright, so let's hit the kitchen. Today we're going to be making Caesar dressing. First, we're going to go ahead and mince our five garlic cloves. Hopefully, you can see that. So, you know, I have my favorite chopper here by Chefin. It's a garlic chopper. So, I'm going to go ahead and these are frozen garlic cloves. And I'm just going to mince them real quick. So, now that we have five uh, garlic cloves finally chopped here. We're gonna go ahead and mince and chop our anchovies. So for Caesar dressing, classic Caesar dressing recipe, you need anchovies. So we're gonna go ahead and put anchovies in here and chop this guy up. Okay, so what we really need is only two of these anchovies. I like them together like this. I consider them as one. A second one. Now, um, these are anchovies uh, from a can and they were oiled. So they're freshly caught anchovies. Um, maybe I'll do one by one. And um, they were in a small can that's like less than $2 to pick up and it's uh, bathed in oil. So um, Instead of chopping it, I was like, why not use it in my garlic chopper? It chopped the anchovies no problem. So, I'm just gonna scoop these guys out. So in the grocery store, you can get you can get anchovies already uh, minced and uh, as a paste. Like, they come in a toothpaste form. And when you pick that up, it's usually $5 or more because it's already done for you. So I was like, hey, for only, I got my anchovies here for a uh, dollar and 75 cents. You know how that is here in California. Anyway, so I was like, since I just need two or three pieces, it just made sense to get that. And that's all you really need. Can you see? All right, moving on to the next step. So in this recipe, we're gonna need a uh, egg yolk. And in order for you to do that, you need a egg separator. So I have, yeah egg separator here and you just need the yolk just like that all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and add our anchovies in the bowl here okay this is how it originally looks like I think I showed you how I mushed these guys right okay and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our garlic now I love garlic I don't know about you comment down below if you love garlic but I just really 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 enjoy garlic so this looks like one tablespoon huh if you're not a garlic lover then I'm gonna go ahead and say you don't have to uh, do five cloves of garlic bring it down to half a tablespoon we're going to go ahead and put in the pinch of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Okay, and then two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I like Grey Poupon. Not the fashion designer. Well, I do like him too, but uh, we're talking about Grey Poupon Dijon mustard. So we're putting two of these. Now, if you have not, if you don't know the designer, Dijon Poupon, you guys are missing out. Anyways, so two tablespoons, two teaspoons of that. And now we're going to have one fourth teaspoon of, actually four dashes of Worcestershire. One fourth teaspoon? Now we're going to go ahead and do one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Wait a minute, I don't think my sauce is open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and use the, I don't know if you guys can see this uh, really cool measuring spoons. It says pinch. You know how people say, I'm going to put a pinch of salt and pinch of pepper or black pepper. Here's the measuring cup if you ever need it. Um, I think these are cool. One eighth teaspoon. Those are, these are like the odd numbered kind of um, teaspoons. But anyways, so I'm going to be using the two thirds teaspoon. I'm hoping you could see for the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Now it's, it's by, and it's stainless steel, which I love by the way. And it's by the brand Quizipro. Quizipro. Anyways, so I will go ahead and leave the link in the description box below. You guys can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. Two thirds. Two slash three teaspoon. Which is 3.3 milliliters of the Worcestershire. Worcestershire. How do you say that? Dang it. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Now, now we're going to go ahead and put this fresh squeezed lemon juice. So I'm going to go ahead and use my lemon squeezer. Go in the bowl, not in my hand. Okay. Okay. So that's one. All right. So that was lemon. And then now we're going to go ahead and add the egg yolk. Just like that. Hey, this could be an omelet for tomorrow. Just saying. And then now we're gonna go ahead and whisk it first, and then we're gonna slowly vigor, um, add the olive oil. So we're whisking it vigorous, how do you say it? Vigorously. Okay, to me that means whisk crazy. <laughs> or if you have a food processor, which I don't, um, you could pulse it, pulse, pulse, pulse. So, we're just trying to whisk, uh, whisk, 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 whisk. Okay, so as we're whisking crazy over here, you're going to go ahead and slowly, let me open my extra virgin olive oil. So you're going to go ahead and whisk vigorous, vigorously, or crazy, um, and then you're going to slowly add your extra virgin olive oil. Now, what you're adding, okay, so you're adding half a cup of olive oil with this recipe, um, but you're slowly putting in like at least one tablespoon or one, a half a tablespoon at a time as you're whisking vigorously or crisly as you're making this Caesar dressing for your Caesar salad and or other recipes. <laughs> Comment down below, how do you like to eat your Caesar dressing? Do you eat it on a, do you eat it with salad? Comment down below to let me know. Now there's other ways of making a Caesar dressing. Obviously I went the raw, organic, like, not organic, mm. I want to say the raw, classic way of making a Caesar dressing. There is another version that um, I call it the cheat way of making Caesar dressing, and I will be making that um, video someday as well because it's like easier, maybe. Um, and then, of course, there's that option of um, not having anchovies in your Caesar dressing. Classic recipe for Caesar dressing calls for anchovies. So, FYI, as I'm stirring this crazy vigorously. Okay, it looks pretty good. As we're whisking that, we're gonna go ahead and add our cheeses. Now, I have um, Parmesan here. I have uh, mozzarella, and I have smoked flavored provolone and Romano cheeses. 
And I have one fourth cup of all the cheeses that I'm gonna slowly bring in to the dressing we have here. Bringing in the cheese is what makes it creamy and the color that we're used to seeing. So, and hey, maybe you like a lot more Parmesan. Then go ahead and add some more. But I'm just adding one fourth cup. And it's grated. Some grated, some shredded, because I like the textures in my dressing. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some black pepper here. I'm gonna be adding half a teaspoon. And maybe you're a peppery kind of person, so you wanna add more pepper. All right. Now see, now it looks like the color that we're all used to seeing. And the texture as well. I'm gonna add a little bit. Let me taste. It's definitely tangy. Now, if you want it to be more tangy, then I would add more lemon juice. And so this final step, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now, it's up to you, um, but I like my Caesar dressing um, creamy, and the mayonnaise is going to make it creamy. So technically, we're, so the mayonnaise is optional, but right now is a classic way of having a Caesar dressing. Adding the mayonnaise could be, makes it creamy, but yet um, it's not considered classic way of making it. But hey, I like it this way, so. Booyah! I wanna go ahead and make it creamy now. Here's the consistency that I'm used to. This is an easy way to make Caesar dressing. What a way to save. I know when I go to the grocery store, I'm gonna be putting my pictures and when I take a picture at the, at the store, here. When I know when I go to the grocery store and when I buy one bottle of Caesar dressing, sometimes it could be like $3 or more or $4 or more. And I was like, why not? since I have all these ingredients at home already, except for the anchovies, okay? Um, sometimes I have to admit, um, I, I don't put the anchovies when I'm like, oh, I don't have any anchovies in my cabinet or in my pantry, and I'm just craving Caesar salad. But this time I had it in my pantry. So yeah, I was saying like, Oh, I have everything in my kitchen, so might as well just make Caesar dressing instead of buying the bottle. Have you ever looked at the ingredients list on the back of the bottle? Sometimes they have, I don't know, ingredients that I cannot pronounce. I already can't pronounce a lot of things, but I don't know. This way you have, you know, all the things that are going in here. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. So, I know if you make your own uh, Caesar dressing at home, you'd be saving three bucks or more to get a cup of coffee. Okay. All right. Shredded carrots, some lettuce. We're making a salad, right? Because we just made salad dressing. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more cheese. I like cheese on my so that's Parmesan, shredded Parmesan, mixed with mozzarella. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some croutons. It's not a salad unless you put the croutons. So, here's my Caesar dressing, and that's my Caesar salad for ya. All right, my eaters, I'm hoping that I've answered your salad dressing questions, and I'm hoping that you try the Caesar dressing recipe did I say that right? 
Caesar dressing recipe. God, that is so wacky to say. But um, I'm hoping that you try it out and definitely comment down below to let me know if you give it a try and or maybe you already have a Caesar dressing recipe. So go ahead and let me know what are the, the ingredients that you use in your dressing. Anyways, always expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my aiders. I'll see you maybe in this video and or that video. Did you know that we did a cookbook? Check out our link in the description box below. So, I'm gonna be doing a shout out next from my last uploaded video. Stay tuned. And remember friends, expand, expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my aiders. See you in the next video. See you in the next video.